Alright guys, so I am boiling water so I can put into my fertilizer because we are starting a new series on this channel and it's going to be called um, DIY Gardens in your um, apartment if you want to learn how to grow vegetables or plants in your home this is going to be that series so I'll be coming out with this like once a week we'll be doing this so we're going to start the series off with boiling water all right so we're going to boil this water because we're going to put this in our um, soil mix okay you don't want any bugs coming from outside because the soil is still part of the dirt and all that it has bugs and all kinds of things in it might i'm not saying it does i'm not sure so we're going to take care of that problem because i don't want any bugs flying around in my house if there are any bugs in there okay so i'm going to show you all the products that i'm going to be using to grow my garden all right so we're starting off with boiling water Right. Okay guys, so these are the seeds I'm going to be starting off with. So um, I'll go through the different varieties of seeds that I'm going to be starting off with on a separate, uh, like later on during the video. But so far, this is just what I have. I have a lot of different seeds that I want to start trying to grow. Like I said, my channel is DIYs at home with Leo, meaning I do DIYs and I also it's at home means you know I can do any type of thing at home. So that's why it's called DIYs at home with Leo. Alright, I'm not just here to do tablescapes and stuff like that. Vegetable gardening and all that, that's all DIYs, okay guys? So you're putting your own creative spin on things and learning how to do things. And also with research, alright? So that's what DIYs is all about, to researching your stuff also, alright? So that's what we're going to be doing. Once a week, a series for planting. So that's my vegetables. Alright guys, so now I have like my potty mix, my top soils, and you know, you know, this food, fertilizer, food for your plants. Now for over here, I used to have some succulents, and I'm not a good green thumber for succulents, but I'm going to try again. Try, 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 practice, practice makes perfect, so that's what I'm going to be doing. So I bought some aloe plants, so we're going to try those out once again. So I do have the cactus palm type of potting mix. I do have some plant food right here, all purpose, miracle Grow. I do like miracle Grow, so this is what I'm going to be, uh, I have never had a problem with miracle Grow outside, so we're going to try it inside and see, alright? So, um, then I have some seeding start, uh, seed, seed starting uh, potting mix, so don't forget guys, the potting mix is really feed food, okay? It's not soil, okay? So it's a difference, alright? So I'll be using that to start off my seeds with. And as you see over here, I do have a garden soil, vegetable, and herb. So I will be growing vegetables and herb. And I do want to have a lemon tree, you know, one that you put on your countertop. So I have to go out and get some citrus things for that, okay? So I'm not going to be using the same soil and things for my, like, my lemon tree, all right? But that's what I want to have. I love lemons. They make me feel happy, almost like spring, and they're beautiful. And they just lighten up a house. So... That's what I have so far, guys, all right? So the top soil, I will be adding my hot boiling water to. And I'm going to let it cool down just so I can kill all the germs and everything else that's in this top soil, all right? So I'll be able to use and nothing grows out of it and grow into my home. So that's what we're going to be doing with that, all right? And then you put your potty mix. You don't put as much potty mix as you do soil. You just mix it to feed it, all right? So we'll be back, guys. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you the different types of things that I have that I'll be using. Alright, so you see three different small so uh, sizes of the uh, planters. So you have a small one here. This is the smallest that I got. I know I'm pretty sure they come smaller, but this is the smallest I have. And I got this one from, and they're clay pots. I got these from the Dollar Tree, which is awesome. You get three in a pack. Right, and that's what they look like inside, and they have a hole in the bottom, which is good for drainage. And also, they sell these black ones here. This is the next to the uh, biggest side, I'm um, next to the smallest. I'm sorry, and they have four in a pack right there. They don't have holes in them, so you just have to watch what you're doing when you're using these. All right, you have four in a pack. And then you come to the medium sized ones, or the large ones, if you want to call these all small, medium, and large. The larger size come with three in the pack. And they do have drainer stoppers there in the bottom. So you put them in the bottom and then you put your soil on things. So 
There you go. So by the time you get to this planter here, this size here, you don't need to add any extra soil, like put brand new soil because your plant should have already have the soil it needs and you just plant it back in there. Make sure it's on top of the black thing, okay? So I've got that. And we do have some gloves, so I bought two pa pairs of gloves. All right. Dollar Tree. Also, we have some planter labels, some plant labels. And I got these also from the Dollar Tree. And guys, um, when I showed you at the beginning of the video the uh, seeds, I got them from the Dollar Tree too. I think they were like four four dollars So. Um, and then you got, I have three different types of shears. So I got it pointed tip shears. And everything, need, you got to be careful what shears you use when you're cutting your plants, all right? I have some serrated shears. They look like that. And then I have some serrated pruning shears, all right? So pruning is you're just going to take off, all right? Prune a lot. So I like these shears, too. So I got those three. I have this thermometer because I'll tell you why in a moment. It's just a big thermometer. Um, and then I have some watering cans. I got these cans. Oh, okay. Everything I just showed you is from the Dollar Tree, all right? Now, these cans came from Home Depot, which I love about this one is because... Is this, there we go. What I love about the big one is because... See this part here? You can connect this part to the front to make like a sprout when you have like... It has holes in it. Let me show you. So that's what it looks like, okay? So I just got this one yesterday, so it's still connected to this. I have to take it off and put it on there. So you don't have to actually buy two, which I did the first time when I went to Home Depot yesterday. So I purchased this one here. Now, I don't know why they had the uh, size on here, the amounts, because it's black. So you can't even see on the outside. You're literally looking on the inside. Oh, okay, I guess it's indented, engraved, and I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. So you could see inside, but people don't have time for that, okay? You want to see on the outside, but anyway. I got one of these, a smaller one, to go inside these little pots. So it'd be easy to pour in the little pots with a little sprout. Then as time goes on, you're going to need this too, all right? Not even as time goes on, because someone, some of them ask for this type of thing so you have to know what you're planning do a little research and you guys will be fine on that all right and then i have this bucket here is because remember we boiled the water so now i need something plastic so i can put my uh, soil in here and put the hot water in there and let it cool down and burn all that badness out of there all right so yeah then here guys is my most favorite thing that i just got in the mail and it uh, what is it uh, paper um, I just got in the mail, and it is the, let's see if I can show you, mini greenhouse, guys. So, I got a greenhouse, and I cannot wait to put this together, so I will be doing a video on that. Then, I also have some more planters as everything goes. It all depends. Like, when I grow my peas, I'm going to be putting it in these planters here. All right, and then I'll have my lemon tree. It's going to go in there. And then this back here is just more stuff, more uh, planters and things. So I'm going to be prepared. So I have my food and all that stuff. I'm so excited for my mini greenhouse series, guys. So if you want to follow me along on this journey, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that bell notification. Notifies you when I've uploaded a video. And I will be back when we start putting things together. All right, guys. So... I got my red bucket on the floor because we're going to fill it with dirt. I'm sorry, soil. And then we're going to put our hot boiling water in it, all right? And we're going to let that cool down, all right? So, now in order to fit, mix, we, we're going to show you how to do this, but we're going to put the soil inside the bucket, all right? And you guys see what I use, miracle Grow Garden Soil, vegetable and herb. And this has control moisture, moisture control in it, so... You should be fine, all right?
And this is why I said it comes out of outside. This is a rock, all right? So go watch for things like that. You can toss that right on out into the trash, all right? You heard that fall on the floor? We're going to fill the fill this some ways and then we'll put hot water in and then we'll fill it some more and put hot water in, all right? To make sure all the layers got the hot water. Okay, so that's going to be how much we're going to put in for now. Then we're going to add some hot water in there. To cause some germs and bugs that might be in there. Okay. Let that soak up the water first and then we'll add some more soil. But you want to make sure, like I just showed you, you get all kinds of things in your soil, so you want to make sure because you're bringing that soil in the house. This is why we're burning through the soil because you're bringing the soil in the house. So you never know what kind of bugs that might be in your soil. You don't want any lava starting to form and then you get bugs flying around or whatever, okay? So, yeah, that's why we're cleaning out our soil right now, all right? And... It should be looking like that. Okay, that's nice. Uh, this drive me nuts doing that with that shovel. So let me get the scissors and um All right, guys, now that should be enough right there. And then we're gonna pour the rest of the hot water. Okay. That's how we're gonna start our ceilings in the house. So let that cool down and then we'll be back, all right? So we can start. Dipping out of here and placing out things where we need to go and get started, all right? Okay, guys, and here is the, uh, in the red tub is the clean soil that I put the boiling water in. And then I'm just going to mix it with the uh, potting, the seed starting potting mix, all right? So I mix that together. Now we're going to do 
some.
I'm loving it so far. So it only cost me $19.99 plus $4.44, something like that. From Amazon, I mean, not from Amazon, from eBay. I'll leave the link in my description. Um, so yeah, it comes like this. Oops. It has some straps here to hold up the window, the door. Okay, we have two zippers, one on each side here, right here, and one here. So you can see how easy it is to unzip. Okay, if you roll it, you have both strings on both sides here, that way you can tie it to hold it up. I just flip it up over the, uh, the roof, and lay it on top of the roof. Like so, so you guys see so far what I have in here. Got the here. I'm gonna have some black mats in here that I purchased also from the Dollar Tree. These are those car mats. So that's what these look like here. It is rolled up like this in your Dollar Tree. So I got four or five of these. My Meyer, my Myler's uh, paper. It's that paper that um, absorbs heat. Um, when I get that, I'm going to also wrap some of these mats here so give me more shine. All right, so I grab some of those. Um, so in here, let me explain you guys what I have. Alright guys, so we're back. So, um, we're just up a little closer. So, as you guys can see, I started some yesterday. Uh, so I got some kale in there, some oregano in there, some sweet basil, and I got some sage in there, alright? So that's what I have growing in there, and I also have the dates, okay? Then down in here, I have some scallions, and you can just regrow scallions. You just chop, never, don't toss these out. Once you chop the onion off, put them in some type of container where they'll be able to stand up and absorb, you know, refunction all over for you again, all right? In here, I just have some lemon seeds in here right now, just so I can get them to root out a little. And then under the bottom, there's some little caps in there, like water caps in there, water bottle caps. It has the water in those. Here I have two aloe plants. I gotta be really delicate with these plants because they're really, they are very, very delicate. Okay, so you gotta be very delicate. Then I have some peas growing in there. I have some type of moss, dried up, you know, um, absorbing moss under there. And then here I have my tomato plant. Now I got the tomato plant out of this box here. And this is the tomato rocket. You're supposed to be able to grow this anywhere. So let's try it here, 100%. Of organic tomatoes so we will try this out here all right right now I just have some soil in there didn't put anything in it yet that's why I don't have a label in there yet so yeah still trying to figure out what else I want to put in there okay so yeah that's what we have so far guys then right so we'll be back 